Hello, welcome to CED Mosba Electric's uh, online video series. Today we're going to cover how to activate Rockwell software. Okay, so uh, the first thing we want to do when we get our activation, when we order software from Rockwell, uh, you're going to get an email that looks a lot like this from Rockwell, that in it's going to have your company name and uh, catalog number, uh, serial number and product key. Uh, this is a temporary activation from Rockwell uh, that I got for this demo. Uh, but you would get one, something that looks a lot like it. Um, so once you get this email, you want to come over to your start menu and open up uh, the Factory Talk Activation Manager, which is under Rockwell Software. Factory Talk Activation, right here, Factory Talk Activation Manager. I'm gonna wait for that to come up. When this comes up, if you have activations currently on the computer, they would show up under here under Manage Activations. Um, you can see I have a few in here already. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to Get New Activations. And here's where you need that serial and product key. So, let's go over here and grab our serial. And put that in there. And the product key. We'll hit validate activation. So this is if your computer is tied to the internet. So the computer that we're using to activate the dongle or the computer that we're going to tie the serial right to the hard drive is on the internet. So in this case, we are connected to the internet. We're going to go ahead and hit this. All right, so it came up. It said uh, we have this license available. We have one, in, one activation available. And what do we want to do? Um, First thing I want to do here is under the product versions, this happens to be for Studio 5000. In version 32, they're going to a different activation style, um, and that'll work with the new activation manager that will be coming out in the future. Um, so for right now, to avoid any issues, we're just going to select this as version 31. And this won't give us any issues with running version 32 or anything, uh, but just for now, for the uh, for sake of this demo, this is what we're going to do. And then under binding, so let's click on that ellipse. So if we tie it to this computer, the license is going to be tied to the hard drive of this computer. And in order to transfer it to a different computer, we would need to rehost it back to Rockwell server and then read, go through this process to read, bring it down onto the new computer. But since we're going to show you how to do a dongle, so you can see the dongle is plugged in here. So that means I've already had the, I have the dongle, dongle com currently plugged into this computer, um, and it's showing up here as a binding. So we're going to select that as the binding option, and then it comes up. Here's a serial number of dongle, and then we're good to go. We just go ahead and go download activations, and now our dongle is currently the host of our. Uh, license. If we come to this file here under location, you're going to see this uh, flex ID. This file here is one that you would take and copy this file onto any computer where you want to use this dongle and then plug the dongle in and your activations will show up. Uh, it's just that easy. So any computer I want to use with this dongle now I could go ahead and do that. So the next thing I'm going to show you is if your computer is not tied to the internet, how do you download a license and get it onto uh, the, the computer without the internet? Okay, so um, the next scenario is if you are trying to tie a license to a computer, to the hard drive of a computer, but that computer never sees the internet and it's not connected to the internet, never will be. So in that case, what we're going to do is show you how to get the license onto that computer. So in that case, uh, we want to start on the computer that does not, that will host the license, so the computer that never sees the internet. We're going to start there and open up our Factory Talk Activation Manager, and the same thing, we're going to go to Get New Activations. And you see, we don't get the option of entering the serial number here because we're not connected to the internet and the activation manager knows that. So we're going to leave, I need to start the activation process by creating a data file. We're going to leave that checked, and hit next. Now what we want to do is we want to tie um, a binding file. We're going to create a binding file, but we're going to put it on a flash drive. So this removable disk E, that's a flash drive plugged in to this computer. 
and we're going to create this file and put it on that flash drive. And we want to tie it to this computer, so we're going to leave that there, and we're going to hit create. So there, we've created the Factory Talk Activation Manager data file on our E drive. So now we're going to take that flash drive out of this computer and we're going to go over to a computer that does have internet access. And so that's the next step. So now here we are over at our computer that does have internet access. And uh, I've plugged in the flash drive. So now we have that flash drive here as well. And again, activation manager, get new activations. Now here we do have internet access. So we're going to put in our serial number and product key. We'll put those in here of the activation we want to put on the other computer. We'll put that in here. Validate. Okay, so it tells us we do have one available. Again, just like the previous example, we're just going to select an earlier version. And under the bindings, we're going to hit the ellipse. And you see there's there's no uh, option here for any, any dongle or anything, but we're going to click import additional bindings and go to our removable disk and this factory talk activation manager data. We're going to click that and you see that the name of the other computer, uh, which is one of our thin manager images, um, comes up as the other computer. We're going to click on that and hit select. So now you can see the binding is to this other computer and the destination for the license is that flash drive. So this is going to create a binding to that, the hard drive of the other computer um, and it's going to put that license on our hard drive so we can move it. So we're going to hit download. Okay, so now the license file is on our D drive. So now we're going to once again take that flash drive from this computer back to the computer that we need to activate, the one that without internet access, and that's where we'll complete the last step. Okay, last step. Uh, we're back over to our other computer without internet access, and we're going to open up our uh, Factory Talk Activation Manager. soon as I find it. There we go. And we do have the flash drive plugged into this computer now. So again, get new activations. Now I have downloaded an activation file. See it's smart enough to know that it sees one on the flash drive. So we're going to leave that clicked. It finds the file for us. And we're going to go move files. And that's it. Now if we go to find available activations, that file should show up for us. Right here it is. So you can see it's in black, so it's ready to use. And that's all there is to it. The last thing we want to show you is um, rehosting an activation. So in this case, um, you have a license tied to a dongle or a hard drive, and you want to rehost it back to Rockwell so that you can move that license to another computer, whether you got a new computer or uh, you just need to use the license elsewhere. So in that case, you need to rehost it back to Rockwell. Uh, so you do that under, uh, you go to Manage Activations, and then Rehost Activations. From here, you just select what license you want to rehost. So in this case, I'm gonna, of my sales activations here, I'm gonna rehost one of them and continue rehosting. It's just that easy. Rehost, you select which one you want to rehost and continue rehosting. You sure? And all that's going to do is it's going to throw it back up under the Rockwell server. So then I could go to a different computer with my serial number and product key and re-download it back to that computer. It's just that easy. Once again, thank you for watching and don't forget to check out future and current videos by subscribing to CED Mosbaugh Electric Supply on YouTube or visiting www.mosbaugh.com media. Thanks again.